Welcome to Fraley and Schilling Securement Training. This video will demonstrate proper securement of suicide style eye to the side coil loads. Before loading, all drivers should be wearing personal protection equipment. This includes an ANSI approved hard hat with chin strap, safety glasses with side shield, hearing protection, a reflective vest, long sleeve shirt, appropriate work gloves, long pants, steel toed boots with internal or external metatarsal guards. Load placement is the responsibility of each individual driver and is directly connected to weight distribution. Our trucks are set up with a permanent fifth wheel that cannot slide to adjust weight distribution. Our trailers have fixed axles that cannot be moved to change weight from trailer axles to drive axles or vice versa. Make sure you're placing the load in the correct location. On most spread axle flatbed trailers, drivers use the center turn signal light as reference for the lengthwise center of the trailer. This will not be the same rule for 53 foot flatbed trailers due to extra overhang of the trailer deck. Should you be uncertain of your load placement, call training staff or one of the driver mentors immediately for assistance in proper placement. When loading a single coil, place the coil in the center of your trailer. It is important to note the individual weight of each coil before they are placed. When loading two coils, place the heaviest just behind the trailer center and the lighter coil just in front. Be sure to leave enough gap for proper use of anchor points. With a three coil load, place the heaviest in the center, the second heaviest just behind the center coil, and the lightest just in front of the center coil. Contact the training staff or a driver mentor if you have any questions or concerns about load placement. After determining load placement, set up coil racks in the chosen locations. A coil rack assembly consists of six basic pieces, a minimum of two metal coil bunks, two beveled timbers, and two rubber coil pads. A minimum of two coil bunks must be used. Add an additional bunk for every 10,000 pounds of coil weight. Coil bunks must have a matching inside length to ensure the coil sits properly. When using more than two bunks, space the inner bunks equally between the outside bunks. Place a beveled timber against the inside shoulder of the bunks at each end. Ensure the timber is fully seated. Timbers must be free of rot and have no large cracks. Timber bevels must be facing up and pointed inward to the center of the assembly. The bevel on a coil timber is cut on a precise angle of 22.5 degrees. This ensures that the outside surface of the coil is sitting on a flat plane and not a sharp edge. Place rubber coil pads across the beveled timbers. This provides cushion between the coil and timbers and also provides friction to protect against lateral movement. Proper edge protection must be used at all points where your chain comes in direct contact with the material. Proper edge protection for chains are the steel edge protectors provided in your issued equipment. Before having the coil placed, ensure that the coil rack assembly is squared and not crooked. Ensure that your coil rack assembly is centered on your trailer laterally as well. Direct the crane operator to place the coil in the center of the rack assembly. The two outside metal bunks should be inside the outer faces of the coil. Never move a loaded trailer without some form of securement unless otherwise directed by safety personnel. At Fraley and Schilling, we use one chain for every 10,000 pounds of coil weight. Always round the weight of the product up to the next whole number. For example, 
32,500 pounds would become 40,000 pounds, which would require a minimum of four chains. A minimum of two chains must be used through the eye of every coil. Only securement through the eye will count towards securement values. One chain must be pulling in the rearward direction to prevent forward movement, and one chain must be pulling in the forward direction to prevent rearward movement. Never use a strap in place of a chain unless otherwise directed by Fraley and Schilling safety personnel. It is against federal regulation for chains to form an X pattern in the eye of a coil. All chains must go straight through the eye of the coil in this style of securement. Our chains are 3 8 grade 70 chain. Links are marked to indicate the grade of the chain. Clavis pins must be free, not welded, and must have a retaining pin in. Links should never be twisted, melted, or cracked. When anchoring chains, always try to use a combination of two anchor points, such as a spool and pocket combination or two spools. When using a spool and pocket combination, the open end of the hook must always face the chain. You can drop on the outside edge of the pocket or go up through the pocket and drop on the opposite flange. On a double spool connection, wrap the chain around the spools, connect the hook back to the chain, making sure that the link is fully seated in the throat of the hook. A chain hook should never be wedged into the eyelet of the link. It is important that your ratchet binder threads are clean and properly lubricated. This will ensure the binder tightens properly and helps eliminate chain twisting. We practice the alternating binder method. This spreads out and equalizes tension on both sides of the coil. During the tensioning process, make sure that the chain links are as straight as possible. Twists in the chain links reduce its effectiveness and can cause premature failure of the link. When attaching binders, use a bungee to keep tension on the chain and secure edge protection. After binding, be sure to wrap up and secure any excess chain. When your load is required to be tarped, it is important to ensure that the tarp covers the entire load. Load securement devices such as binders and or chains should be covered as well. The entire concept of tarping is an art form that needs to be learned quickly. For the sides, the idea is to create a seal between the tarp and the outer edge of the trailer deck. This will help keep moisture from being pulled in from the sides during transit in wet weather. For the front and rear of the tarp, creating a seal is very easy. This can be done with the use of two inch portable straps. Also, a nice looking tarp job can give you the self-satisfaction of a job well done. Eliminating pockets that could trap air and moisture is part of the total concept of tarping. 
please remember that this basic instructional video only covers the most basic principles of eye to side coils and should not be construed as an all inclusive lesson. Should you ever have questions or concerns about your load, load placement, or securement method, please call the Rushville training staff or driver mentors for further assistance. By following this securement method, you will ensure the safety of yourself, your load, and all other drivers on the road. 